Welcome to The Daily Show. I am Russ. This is Chris. And man, I have some big news today. I did not bowl three games with 180. You, ha- you got really close. What was well, your first game? 161, 171, 194. So you were about? 175 is my yeah. average. Yeah. But mine was not 175, folks. No. Nope. Uh, my first game was seven. <laughs> and my next game was 13. But, but your last game was a 190, yeah. and we did win the cash pot. 190, 194 for a 450, yeah. 80, yeah. 83. We won our – Gerald and Tommy on our team won the first cash pot. We didn't win the second one, and our team won the third one. So, yep. we're pretty stoked about that. So, and Tommy won high, high game. <laughs> and Tommy won high game. And, man, I just go back to thinking those two last frames, you know, just they got me. And for all you that I know. Two last frames in more than one game got yeah. you. So, ah, getting better, getting better. Well, I, you – if you guys don't watch our sports show, it's a sports in a minute. I've done it. I did a We're UFC. Top, He's top. done it. I mean, Marius comes in and does some stuff. It's really good, man, a little sports in a minute. And yesterday, Chris went out and he did the whole recruiting class for the 2011 Baylor Bears. Man, it was awesome. And I want to tell you, good job on that. Wait, wait a second. You did the 2011 recruiting class. You did. Well, it was actually 12. Or 12. You didn't do this but year. But let, let's just show these people. Well, what happened was Chris did a due diligent work, busted his tail to do the wrong recruiting class Look, last year. I done wrote it all on there. <laughs> and the, the, the reason, you know, I knew Baylor. I knew Baylor had a dual threat quarterback coming in. Right, right. But I, I, I knew I, I had heard he was from Brian. But this dual threat quarterback was from Garland. So it kind of threw me off. But then I saw the kid from Midway, who I know is a senior this year, yeah, yeah. listed on there. So I thought I was in the right place. So it's all right. I have a grand, grand Sports in a Minute show that you will never see. <laughs> you won't ever see. Oh, that was great. He told me. I'm that just glad that. I didn't post it. No, that would have been awesome. And somebody would have went, what the heck are you talking that about? That would have been good. That would have been good. All right, man. Today we got movies. Uh, we got a few uh, stories, but I, I want to ask you a question. Okay. Are you a germaphobe? I'm more of a germ- germaphobe than I used to be. Okay. Me too. Wash my hands a lot more. Wash my face every time. Don't ever touch a lot of doorknobs without a... I use my... What I, what I dry my hands and my face, I'll open a door and then throw it away. Yeah, same thing. Well, new study... And Bobby, I heard this on Bobby Bones a while ago. It must be true. New study going around that they're stopping birthday cakes. What, what they're going to do is go, hey, it's your birthday. Here's your cupcake. We got a cake here. Here's your cupcake with a candle. You blow that out, and then we'll eat the cake. Because, I, whew, you know. I, it makes sense. But, you know. Somebody sneezing over there I gets, agree. gets over everything. And he is a huge germaphobe. But I went, golly, man, there's no way to stop, like you said, sneezing, shaking hands. You know, it, it's out there. There's, I'm not a huge germaphobe, but I, I, try, I try to, if I sneeze, you know, if I cough, and I hate it when people are like. And, and me, I... I, I sneeze like it's the end of the world. I mean, it hurts when I sneeze. So I got to be sure and turn away or, yeah, away like or it. it'll be a... And it's loud. Yeah. Make your whole body feel good. Oh, yeah. Speaking oh, yeah. of whole body feel good, you got, did... Oh, you got one? Okay. Go no, ahead. no, you're, you're gone. Well, I was going to go with germs and making your body feel good. Oh, okay, go. Did you know that Kansas has now passed a law that makes strippers... Real employees. Yes. Where they can now get unemployment. And I think that's fair. I think that's fair. They work hard. They're up there working. But my thing is, and, I, and I'm, I'm totally fine with that. How do you get fired as a stripper? Now, I guess you don't take care of your customers' needs. It's you, just like a waitress. They work for tips. Strippers work for tips. Both kinds. Yeah. Uh, so I, I'm thinking, as the boss, you sit down and they come in. I go, Chris, 
man, I'm all, we're going to have to let you go, buddy. Uh, you're... Your table dances are you're, just so not up to par. They're not up to par. You, you, you've you slipped on the pole twice this this was this week, and I don't know if you, you, you noticed. Keep, you keep having to borrow the other girl's high heels and your toes hang off the end. Yeah. Things I, like yeah. that. We're going to have to just let you go, and you're going to get mad and go collect unemployment. You know what they're doing? They're making it harder on the clubs. Oh, ain't no doubt. Because – Strip clubs have been a, a license to steal for a long time. You know what? You want to work here? Sure. Hey, no problem. At the end of the night, you give me $35. Yeah, 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 exactly right. You know, so they're making it a little, little tougher on the clubs, I'm guessing. All right, you watch Dual Survivor. I watch Dual Survivor. You watch MMA. I watch MMA. You watch the UFC and I all that. All you that. watch it all. Yes. What is going to be the first, first death on TV? Is it going to be one of the, the MMA shows? You know, it, but people die in boxing in boxing matches and stuff like that. Because me and you watched, uh -huh. me and you watched probably one of the most jaw-dropping knockouts. It's from the Ultimate Fighter. <clears throat> from the Ultimate Fighter. He takes a back heel right here. Yeah, it's, it's devastating. And it, it may be playing. It was on Hulu, so I don't know if I can get it. But it hit him, and it all got quiet. Yeah. Well, you know, it's one of those knockouts where it, he, he, he can't catch his breath and, and, and everything, but it, <clears throat> that, that was rough. But to go back to answer your question, I think it is the extreme sports games that's going to end up being the first. I mean, well, I mean, we've already had happened, those, the, the X games. You know, I think that, but as far as – but I think it's going to be boxing because boxing's happened. They die, and, and I think it's coming. MMA's coming next because it is. It's the luck of one punch. I think it's going to be that, or either love and hip hop, or one of those. Well, shows, maybe. that could be. That could be too. That you could know, be too. Yeah, that could. That could be on there. And if you guys haven't seen it, go look at that Ultimate Fighter deal because that was. That, I think I can get it. So you might have saw it, but I, I don't man, know. That was rough. Whew. We'll give you some sad news real quick. Okay. Tony Braxton. Is retiring from music. In 93? Tony Braxton announced today on Good Morning America she is retiring from music. She's doing a Lifetime movie. It comes out this Saturday. And she's going to go a little bit more into acting. You know, she has her reality show, the Braxtons or the Huxtables, whatever. And she's just not feeling the music anymore. I'm just, I'm just, and, and the lady interviewing her was like, oh, I can't. I can't believe it, um, you know, I guess that happens. I was like, you ain't let out nothing in 10 years. Well, why would you, what the heck, who would matter? But when she did. She was a bad mofo. It was something else. And you know, she went into the whole fashion and stuff. Too. and yeah, yeah, she had some, some kind of other stuff. <clears throat> but, yeah, up. I was a huge, I was a huge fan of hers. I totally agree. I totally agree with that. Totally too. agree. Hey, did you know that Honey Boo Boo's mom has lost 102 pounds? No, I did not know. And did you know how she has done it? And has done it over two years. How? Just getting up and doing <laughs> stuff. <laughs> the reality show started, so she had to get up and actually, you know, move around. So she is down from 365 to 263 just, just because her life stuff. has changed. <laughs> just doing stuff. You know what? How'd you lose weight? I just did stuff. Got up. <laughs> did stuff. You know, just did stuff. It reminds me of that Tracy Morgan commercial about America when he comes out and does that. <laughs> I just did stuff. Went from, hey, how's it going, everything, to, sup, sup. All right, man. We have hoax movie review today. Yep. And just watch the end of this, the end of his deal for his fashion statement for today, please. Hokey. Thanks, Chris and Russ. All right, movie of the week will be Identity Thief, starring Melissa McCarthy. I had to say the name before I forgot. It. And Jason Bateman, directed by Seth Gordon. Uh, he's also the guy that made a uh, Horrible Bosses from two years ago, I think. Anyway, Horrible Bosses was really good comedy. Got Jennifer Aniston to do some things that we all wanted her to do. So, oh, we only hope that Melissa McCarthy doesn't do those things. And but oh, she's probably right now, for my money, the the best comedic actress in terms of like just 
off the cuff ad libbing. I mean, if anybody saw This Is Forty, I mean, she stole the show and her scene in This Is Forty. So can't wait to see that one. But the big movie news this week for all of Geekdom is Star Wars spinoffs. Okay, we know Disney bought Lucasfilm, and we know that Disney is uh, working with Kathleen Kennedy. She's headed up the Lucasfilm division to bring us three new Star Wars that J.J. Abrams has taken over, and a lot of geeks are excited about it. I'm lukewarm on that deal, but the, well, this is what got me pumped. This Now I'm pumped. They're making spinoffs of Star Wars, like offshoots. One would be a young Han Solo spinoff, and I'm kind of lukewarm on that one, but this is what I'm excited about. And only geeks like me will appreciate this. They're making Bubba Fett spinoff movies. It is something all of Star Wars geeks have been wanting since they were kids. We're finally going to get it. Lawrence Kasdan is involved with some of these. I'm not sure which projects he's involved with, but... If you remember, he wrote uh, Rares Lost Ark. He wrote Empire Strikes Back. I think he helped Return of Jedi. I can't remember the screenplay. So, Hal Lawrence Kasdan back is great. And that's enough geekdom for one show. Back to you, Chris and Russ. I don't know what the hell that is. That's like regular, clean, I mean, he's colorful. Trying, I don't understand why, is he, why he all of a sudden... Is that, wait a second, I do know. Trish is buying his clothes. Well, I think it's something different. I think, you know, pregnancy for nine months, have a kid, you got a few more months after that. And have you noticed now that they can get back in the swing of things, he's back on his weight loss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Good looking call. a little better. And wow. I think she went. Go ahead. Yeah, you need to look better. <laughs> so we're going to buy you some clothes and stuff like so that. So he has his gear on. I just wish he would have wore those rustic shorts, which I like, his Red <laughs> Sea gear. But that's all right, man. That's all right. But enjoy that. It's going to be a good movie. I can't wait to see it. Uh, let, me take, let me take a second and tell you all I know about Star Wars. All right. All awesome. right. Yes. Beautiful. Good job. Good job. Good job. Same as me here. So, well. You did know Bubba Hotep or whoever you I said. I did. And Bubba Hotep was a good movie, too. Okay. All right, man, we're going to get out of here. And it is supposed to rain cats and dogs this weekend. Especially Sunday. So it's supposed to come down to torrential downpour. So until tomorrow, I am Russ. This is Chris. 